currently a professor in geography and environmental sciences at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. And I currently also hold the position of the Dean of Research. I think that we have made uh, significant advances, but there's substantially more to do in understanding how the, the trends in the sectors, the different roles that women and, and other gender identity roles can play. As our understanding of gender is changing, we are beginning to realize that our focus on women alone are highly problematic and they could be disguising disadvantaged uh, positions and challenges that other um, individuals face as well. In the research that we have conducted, we also found that it's not just about women's roles as participants or artists or performers or musicians, uh, etc. It is also the role that women play in organizations such as NAC and, and, and other uh, agencies uh, that make decisions. How many, for example, women are on those committees, on the boards, etc. We need to get those aspects right as well. So there's sufficient voices that are paying attention to the needs of different groups within the sector. The three biggest challenges I think is being, the first one is for their talent to be recognized uh, for that they have their unique stories to tell, that their experiences provide the platform to expose the concerns of women in our country, the plight and the conditions that women and females and girls uh, generally uh, face in our country. So just recognizing that they're a pool of talent, that they untapped potential is probably, in my opinion, the first challenge. The second challenge that is faced is in being provided with the resources, whether it is funding, whether it is training, whether it is getting exposed to the digital world, to the technological world. So they have variations in how they can promote and create consumption demands around the talents that they have. And the third biggest challenge is to deal with their representation in decision-making bodies that speak on their behalf, that make decisions as priorities for the sector so that women issues and those of other marginalized groups' attention can be paid to their concern. The first aspect, in my opinion, is to make sure that women are recognized for the force that they, they are. And that, as I indicated in terms of the challenge, that they are given the opportunity to tell their own stories, to share their experiences, but also not to be mediated. Because a lot of times the talent of, of women are being managed by organizations or men, etc. So they need to be given more opportunity in the cultural sector to play roles in all aspects from the generation, the product portfolios themselves, the different genres of cultural and arts, as well as right up to being directors, being producers, being involved in the training, etc. Women need to play a key role and that is critically important. And perhaps the last role that women can play is to sensitize the powers that be to the conditions that women face so that we can institutionalize changes rather than behave as if they add on. We need to rethink about curriculum. We need to rethink about uh, the culture and arts generally that young girls can see that they have a future in the culture and arts sector and they can pursue it as a career. Many people, I think both men and women, often think that it's something you do on, on the side rather than understanding that this can be a viable career path for their future. There needs to be a commitment to systematically unpack and engage in an honest, brutal conversation about what is working and what is not working. We need to pay attention to training, so not just research, 
but research informing training and capacity building, uh, looking at mentoring programs, and men can particularly play a role in sharing the skills, being willing to mentor, coach a woman to be able to compete on the equal footing and to be able to reach their full potential. Apprenticeship programs, internship programs will all play a role to exposing women to more opportunities and to be able to equip them and empower them together with concerned men and other stakeholders to be able to change the landscape so we have a more gender sensitive and gender empowered landscape where women can reach their full potential and contribute together with men so that culture can retain its role in our society to be our conscience and to be our uh, the mirror to all we have achieved and all that is yet to come.